to some NPP politics now, and after his 2020 NPP primaries defeat, former musical president and managing director of Ghana Post Company Limited, Vice Osei Kufo, known as Obua, is making a comeback. The competition, however, won't be easy as the incumbent member of parliament, Kweku Asante Boateng, and Eric Kamufa, his two contenders, express confidence in their victory for the upcoming NPP primary. City News' Middle Belt Bureau Chief Edward Opong-Mafo sheds light on the Asante Akim South NPP parliamentary primaries in the following report. The previous NPP primaries in the Ashanti region saw intense competition by Soseko 4 and three others aimed to unseat Kweku Asante Boatin, seeking a third term. Initially celebrating victory, Obo's supporters learned later that the incumbent has secured 360 votes, surpassing Obo's 296 votes, with the other three securing 32, 9, and 8 votes, respectively. Three contenders from the previous contest are once again in the fray. Incumbent, Kwekwa Santibuaten, Bais Osekufo Obo, and Eric Amufa. Bais Osekufo Obo tells City News he's returning with more strength. I think the last night was a, it was a miscommunication. What happened was it was 46 electoral areas. As at the time they finished 45 electoral areas, I was leading. And so everybody around felt that, I mean, we are 46 and at 45, Obo is leading. And so Obo has won. But of course, when the last electoral area, which had a lot of votes came, the MP had beaten me in that electoral area. That's how come it became as if Obo had won and later they said Obo didn't win. But this year, all the things that we missed out, that we couldn't do last year, we are doing them this time around. And we are very focused and clear in our mind that the delegates of Asante Achim South have given yeah, our MP, Member of Parliament, every respect he needs. I mean, honoring him with representation in Parliament for three terms is not a joke. No Member of Parliament in the constituency have even gone beyond eight years. He has done 12, 12 years. We think his time is up. It's time for a new vision, it's time for change, it's time for Obo. Number two. Obo outlines his vision for the constituency. The constituency is a constituency that has missed people. Majority are farmers, and so we are looking at farming interventions, food processing. These are major projects we are battling, we are pushing for. Another key area in the field of education is that constituency doesn't have, it cannot boast of any tertiary institution. And so one of the major plans that we have put on the drawing board is how we can draw education, the authorities of education, to bring either a teacher training, a nursing training, or university into the constituency. These are key critical things to the development of the constituency. Major, another major problem in the constituency is jobs. There are several young people in the constituency who don't have any, who don't have jobs. And we have planned and, you know, programs, certain skills training initiatives so that we can create entrepreneurs in the constituency. Our vision is to create 10,000 entrepreneurs every year in the constituency. Incumbent MP, Kwekwa Sante Boate remains unfazed, relying on his track record. I, I, I will win. I will win. There were no two ways about it. The majority rose, rose about 120 kilometers uh, and, you know, even some constituencies cannot boast of, let's say, five kilometers or a kilometer of third road. So if we've been able to do 120 kilometers within this space of time, it's a massive achievement under my leadership. Employment, the little that we, we can do in areas of uh, teaching and uh, under the health sector, and our Greg, some going to Cocoa Board and other areas. We've done a lot at the security services. He aims to use his next step to consolidate the previous gains, as he tells City News. My vision is to consolidate the gains that we've achieved, we'll be able to achieve under the leadership of His Excellency Nanado Dagwa Akufuado. We've done a lot of developmental projects. But that notwithstanding, we still have some uncompleted projects in the area of rules, school projects, uh, chip compounds and other things. So we want to use our next term to consolidate the gains.
by completing all these projects. Consider the underdog, Erika Mufa believes his ongoing works in the constituency make him a strong contender. When it comes to what I'm doing, I'm doing a lot. If you mention Erika Mufa in Asante Achim South, the key thing that comes in is education. For the past three years, I've been supporting the citizens in the constituency when it comes to improving the lives of the people and also improving education. Recently, I launched Education Fund and Erika Mufa, I put a seed money of 100,000 Ghana cities to support needy children in the constituency. In addition to this, last three months, Eric Kamofa supplied 5,000 exercise books to all secondary schools in my constituency. When it comes to the party, everything the party has been doing, Eric Kamofa has been present. When we were doing the electoral commission registration, I was there supporting the, the, the party, the full soldiers. When we were doing the assemblyman election, Eric Kamofa was there going rounds to make sure I'm visible in the constituency. He highlights his plans if given the chance to represent the constituents in parliament. There's a lot of vision I have. That is to help in improve education in my constituency. Our health sector in the constituency is lacking behind. As we speak, one district hospital we have, we don't have the, the facilities required to make sure the people there can have a good care or good health access. Our road network also needs to be improved. Farming is one of the key activities or economic activity we do in the constituency. And Eric Mofa is looking at bringing commercial farming, where we will group the, the, the youth into farming. We will make sure the youth are trained in a specific farming activity so that they can also do it and get some money to empower them to be able to also transform other lives and also within their family. The Asante Achim South MPP primary is poised for a fierce contest once again, making it an election to watch.